Hello student, today's agenda is to check homework. We'll be constructing triangles by side, 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 and side, angle, side. And you will be able to do 10.6. Today's students will be able to construct a congruent triangle by side, 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 and side, angle, side. Okay, so we're gonna start. Um, we will be needing a compass, and we'll be needing our straight edge. And what this means is that you're going to be copying one side, then you will copy the second side, and finally you will need the measurement of the third side. So you will need the measurements of all three sides. So the first thing that you will do is to draw a line. Let me take this out of there so that... Okay, you're going to draw a line. And it can be, I'm going to do a little different than what it, it's in there. And I'm going to start, it doesn't really matter which one you want to do. I'm going to do BC first. And you know what, I'm going to rotate it a little. So instead of like this, I'm going to do it this way. It doesn't matter where you do it as long as you do um, a line. And so I'm going to take this as my end point and I'm going to name that b prime so basically this is b i need to find c and to be able to find c i will measure bc and that way i'm going to be measuring basically the first side of side 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 and what I'm going to do is that with my compass, I'm going to place it on B prime. And I'm going to mark it right there. Okay, so I just found C. Since this is BC, then it's the same measurement. So this is the new C. And so I will call that C prime. The next thing is that I'm going to, um, so I marked the line, and now I'm going to measure either one of the two sides. I'm going to measure, you can measure BA or CA, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go ahead and measure CA. And on C prime, I'm going to place a point and make an arc, kind of big so that I can find an intersection for the last point which is point A okay and again what I did was to measure CA and made an arc so I measured the second side now I will measure the third side and I'm gonna go ahead since this is on B and A I'm gonna put it on B Again, we're trying to find point A and make an arc to intersect with the other arc. And where the, the two arcs intersect, that's A prime, okay? And now I'm ready to <clears throat> trace, or I mean, connect the points. And so, That's the congruent triangle to ABC, A prime, B prime, C prime, okay? And we used side, side, side. How? Because we had to measure, first we measure BC, and so that's why we know that those are congruent. Then I used AC and marked the, so I used that to find the second side. And finally, I measure BA so that I would know where, where uh, the two, these two sides intersect to make A, which is that point, and therefore th this is congruent to this side. Okay, so only the three sides are marked because that's what I used, and so that's side, side, side. Okay. 
Um, I'm gonna give you <clears throat> again. Remember that these are word like in their own words for my students. So it says draw a line, measure BC, mark the line with measurement B prime and C prime, measure AC. So basically, that's the other line because this is the first one that we copy. Then measure the other line and. From C prime, I'm gonna make the arc. Measure the third side, and from B, but prime, B prime, mark the other side. Okay. Um, then where the arcs meet becomes A prime, and you just connect the dots at the end. Okay. So if you wanna go ahead and pause the video, cause I'm gonna, I'm about to take it out. Uh, pause the video so that you can take these notes and again these are um, from my students uh, words way that they would understand it <clears throat> okay so the next one says construct a, tri a congruent triangle by side angle side and I think even if the two overlap I'm going to do them a little closer because I couldn't do much movement in the previous one um, so I think I'm gonna make it maybe somewhere around here. And you can make it flat. Somebody asked me, can I make it flat? I'm like, that's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna do a line. And I'm gonna start by measuring BC. Okay, so the first one is gonna become BC, but with the markings are gonna be prime, okay? So that's the measurement for BC. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and put B in here, B prime. And I'm gonna find C by using this measurement and learning where C prime would be. So that's C prime. And so I already found one side okay what is next this is congruent to this the next thing is to find the angle okay and remember that it has to be side angle the angle has to be right next to that side in in fact it has to be in the middle of the two sides so if i do this one then that means that i would have to have these two sides congruent but if i choose this angle then these two sides are going to be congruent to each other so you choose whichever you want so the next step is to copy that angle if I decide to choose this one then I'm gonna copy that angle into onto here okay and so you're gonna open your compass it doesn't the measurement doesn't really matter uh, preferably inside of the triangle but I I noticed that one of the students go ahead and went even outside of the the triangle that's fine it doesn't matter as long as it does touch the sides. Okay, so you're gonna create um, an arc on that angle and also on the other on the other figure. And this again, this is the part that a lot of people get confused. And so yesterday I like to use some symbols or just so that students will remember. I said, think of this, what what do you think of when you're t thinking of of a circle or even just a piece of a circle? And they said pizza. So I'm like, okay, what you're going to be measuring, I said, it's going to be the crust. Because some people to make this measurement, they want to go ahead and measure this right here and mark it here. But how are they going to find this line where it goes? So I said, no, no, no. What you need to measure is the crust. The, basically is the arc, the one that you're measuring, not the radius. This will be the radius of, of that arc, okay? So the crust of the pizza, and you're going to measure how far that crust should be in here as well, okay? So, again, not from here to here, but from one part of the arc to the other intersection of, of the arc, okay? And so that becomes 
not one of these points, but this point right here. We know that the line goes through there. Okay. And so, by doing that, we already know, again, this is congruent. Since we copied the angle, that means that these two angles are congruent to each other, right? Because we copied this angle into onto here. The final step, okay, side angle, okay, side angle, side. So it's going to be this side right here, which is BA or AB for that matter. Okay, so that's the measure of BA. I'm going to put it on B prime to find A prime. And so this is A prime. And I have side angle, and that those two sides are also congruent. So I'm going to make the same markings, okay? And it refers to this side, not to this point, but the whole side. And basically, all you do, la the last step is to connect these two points. Um, and so because of side angle side, Consequently, we know that angle A is congruent. Angle A is congruent to angle A prime. Angle C is congruent to angle C prime, and side AC is congruent to side A prime C prime. Okay, so everything is congruent, but we know that because of side angle side. Okay, with this you are able to now work on. 10.6 and have fun. Oh, but before, let me give you the, the guidelines that the students came up with. The first one is draw a line. Measure BC on that line. That way you find the first side. Then copy angle B. Okay, that's what we did. Copy angle B. After you have that angle, on the, the measure AB, meaning the other side on the other side of the, the other side on um, creating the angle that you just made, and copy it to find A, so that's this part right here, measure that to find A prime, and finally, connect A and C. A prime and C prime and that's just to close basically the the whole triangle okay so take a minute to copy those and again have fun doing 10.6 bye bye